Hi, Dennis here. I've been expanding on my C-sharp vocabulary and concepts by creating this Unity game, which is a model planet with model remote controlled vehicles that are flying around and going around in the game. Part of these are controlled by AI, but I'm controlling by hand right now. We see that there's actually a HUD system with trackers going into display. There's another type, which is a vehicle that inherits from target and that's inherited from by uh, airplane and motor vehicles, so on. Here we have the different camera views. So camera emplacements can have different attributes. This camera emplacement moves by dragging the cursor along, whereas other camera emplacements, like inside this one is static. This one moves according to the speed of the vehicle and the rotation and so on. Also, I'm able to use my targeting system to imitate a radar, where the radar can tell, according to the list that's moving on top, whether objects can see each other, and it can tell what the closest object is, which allows me to shoot my laser. Another component that's part of this is moving parts, like the gear and the air brakes, and the wings are actually simulated wings that take into account the thickness of the air, the gravity, the height, and so on. Programming in Unity is a very interesting way of simulating reality. For example, here I'm showing you in the hierarchy areas that represent the radar range and the radar detector's range. And as I zoom in, you can see that the airplane has all sorts of components like the engine, the colliders, the wings, and all these have different scripts attached to them that represent what those different parts do. Making a game is extremely challenging because there are many building blocks that must be in place before it actually works. For example, the user interface, the game models, the sound, and finally, most of all, the scripting. All this has to be engineered in such a way that it's actually fun to play, and that's my main challenge right now.